time for the RX Comic Book Week in Review. Toy to look for, people, this week. Destroyer toy. Hard to find. Good luck. I got lucky. Okay, back to the business at hand. RX, speaking of toys, they've got the new Marvels that came out this week. These wonderful little figurines. You got some pretty good ones. You got the um, Ultron. You've got the USA Agent. A couple of good ones. Go take a look. Pick them up. Uh, Predator Toys are on sale this week as well. Also, in the two packs, Aaron has managed to bring in the Captain Britain. Sweet! But this is the catch. It comes with the Spider-Man. Sorry. Okay, to the business at hand. The comic books! That's right! Okay. A Marvel comic book that I've actually been enjoying. The Avengers. Circa 1959. Interesting read. Nick Fury has his own from Avengers in the 50s. Some villains, somewhat. It's pretty good. Even for a Jacob book. Thunderbolts. I know last issue I said, why am I buying this? Well, Thunderbolts are in World War II now. Okay. Guilty Pleasure, that's getting to be a little bit on the boring side this issue. All right. I know you guys are going to laugh, but it's time for the DC-52s, number twos. To begin with, someone had to buy one, so I did this for you, Aaron. Oh my god, this thing is so bad! Oh look, it's Hawk and Dove versus the Condor! Oh, and the Condor becomes a partner! Oh wait, wait for it, are you waiting for it? Of the Swan! Oh, what's next? Oh, the Budgie and the Eagle! Seriously, DC, that one was just... Eh. Okay, another number two I wasn't planning on buying, but after a friend of mine read the first one, he goes, you have to buy number two and make a comment about it. My friend, by the way, he's not the same skin color as me. He's a lot darker. I don't want to sound anything else, but this way, he was offended by this character. He's basically telling me and asking me, why is it they have to do a character in Southern Africa? Why can't they have a black superhero here? He pointed to Black Lightning, for example, would be a much better character. So I reminded him, of DC's Static Shock! Suffice it to say, he just laughed. Okay, Detective Comics. Okay, still a good read. The artwork is still rushed. Very rushed. But still, it's an okay read. Let's continue. Red Lanterns. I'm enjoying this, this wonderful book. It's actually kind of cool. And it's almost almost cover of the week. We haven't gotten to that one yet. Okay, another guilty pleasure that I'm liking a lot. OMAC. This is sort of Kirby-esque. I like it. It's fun to read. I still recommend this one. It's kind of funny how some of the books that you wouldn't think about turn out to be the good ones, and the ones they plugged a lot are crap. Okay, Animal Man number two. Artwork. Interesting. Story's fantastic. Definitely a must-read. Oh, wait. It's Green Arrow Smallsville number two. Oh, I'm so looking forward to issue four. They're changing the team. Speaking of Smallsville, yes, it's the reboot of Action Comics. Okay, how many times do we have to have the year one storylines? Okay, not that good. Stormwatch number two. Huh. Okay. I thought this was going to be a good Justice League title. However, this one's reminding me too much of the previous Justice League International series, which no longer existed, sort of. Uh, the only good thing about this title, I have to say, is the artwork's steady. And I've seen preview artwork for issue number four. It's going to get interesting. Swamping! Ta-da! Once again, one of the books that's actually not bad from DC. Okay, last of the number twos, and this is my cover of the week, just because of the fact I think it's so kind of cool, and it's also one of the best reads, Men of War number two. If you didn't buy number one, go back, pick it up. This is probably the one they're going to be talking about for a while. And I know a lot of retailers out there, and you hear the press saying, oh, the sales were great for December, I mean for September, with the new 52 number ones. Let's be honest. It's marketing, folks. Relaunch, reboot. It's basically a marketing ploy. DC 
better wake up soon, because six months from now, those cells that are up here are going to be going down there. you got to get this thing organized. People are getting fed up already. But then again, 52 new titles have come and gone. Well, guess what? DC Comics, number one, Penguin. Okay, well, you know, it's all right. It's a Batman miniseries, sort of. Worst cover of the week. You ready for it? Huntress number one. That's right. Another number one. Miniseries again. Okay, and the crossover book for the week, DC Universe Online Legends. This would have made a better universe than the new 52. That's pretty much it for this week. We'll see you next week. Remember, RX Comics is still the place to go to. Mad Montreal, man. Out.